Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing example 6.10 and solving exercise 6.28 uh, from Mr. Sidra's book, uh, chapter number 6. Okay, so straight away on the question, example 6.10, we want to analyze the circuit and figure. So this is the circuit. To determine the voltages at all nodes and the currents through all branches. So we need to find all the three voltages and all three currents. And assume that beta is 100. So what we actually want to do is we want to reduce this circuit in this form, in this shape. And to do that, we have to take the care of this part and resolve this with the help of a Thevenin's theorem. So, if you recall, the Thevenin's theorem is, will look like this, and here, this is 15 volt. Then we have two resistances, 10K and 5K. So 10K and 5K. And we want the voltage across 5, uh, 50K, sorry across 50k that was we want this to will treat this as a load so we want this voltage and also at the same time we would require an equivalent resistance at this point so let's first first of all find the voltage uh, straight away from here you can see it is a voltage division rule total voltage divided by total resistance and multiplied by this resistance which is RB2 uh, here, RB1. We should also uh, uh, now plug in the values 15, RB1 is 100 and RB2 is 50 multiplied by 50. So the V thevenin voltage or we are calling here it as VBB that means voltage at this point will be 5 volt. So VBB here in the new circuit, it is 5 volt. Now, how much is the equivalent resistance? We know that for thevenin resistance, we short circuit the source. So we short circuit the source, then our circuit will look like this, this one in parallel with the uh, 10K. You can also uh, look from this circuit, if we just separate this portion, and we ground the source, then if you turn it like this, both grounds together, then you can see that the, these two are in parallel. So solving in parallel, we find the R thevenin, which we are calling RBB, is equal to 33.3 kilo. So in the new circuit, we have VB5, and we have RBB, 33.3 kilo. So the circuit will look like this now. So we'll proceed with this. Now, if you look at the base emitter loop, this loop here, base emitter loop, we can say that this voltage VBB is equal to IBRB, drop here, plus VBE, plus IERE, -E. so IBRB plus VBE plus IERE. -E. Now, couple of things we know. Okay, we take this on the left hand side, so this becomes our equation. Now, assuming active mode, we can write that IE is equal to beta plus one IB. That is from here you can get IB is equal to IE divided by beta plus 1. So in this equation replacing IB by this, so we get on the right hand side all terms in terms of IE. Now let's plug in the values. This is 5, VBE we know 0 0.7, IE we have to find, RBB we had just calculated 33.3. Beta is given 100, so it is 100 plus 1 here. And R, IE into RE, RE is 3 kilos, so multiplied by 3. 
simplifying we get this term and from here we can calculate IE so IE is 1.29 uh, million pair now once we have calculated IB we can find IE IC etc so the base current will be IB is from here now IE divided by beta plus 1 IE we have found beta plus 1 is 101 so IB is 0 0.0128 milliampere so now we have found IB so IE we have found IB we have found that means this current and this current we have found Now the base voltage from here, if you see this point is VB, this is VBB, but this point is VB, so VB is VBE plus IERE, VB is VBE plus IERE, so 0 0.7 is VBE and IERE, so VB is 4.57, so this voltage here is now 4.57. And if we know this voltage, we would know this one also because VB minus VBE will give us VE. So VE, either we calculate from this way that VB minus VBE or we can just calculate, we know the current. So current multiplied by the resistance will give the voltage. So it is 3.87 volt is VE. Okay, so VE we have found. VC to find VC, we have to find IC first of all. We know IC is alpha times IE, and alpha will be 0 0.99. You know alpha is beta divided by beta plus 1. That means 100 divided by 100 plus 1 will give 0 0.99. And so multiplied by IE, so IC is 1.28 milliampere. Now that we have found IC, we now the only thing left is BC. So 15 minus this drop will give us BC. So VC is 15 volt minus ICRC is 15 minus 1.28 into 5. So 8.6 volt is BC. So now we have found all the parameters, all three currents and all three voltages. And this circuit now shows everything that we have calculated, these voltages. Now let's come to the exercise 6.28. This is very simple. If the transistor in the circuit, the previous circuit, is replaced with another one having half the value of B, that means beta is 50 in this case, find the new value of IC and express the change in IC as percentage. So we have changed beta and we want to see what is its effect. So we'll take this equation from the previous uh, question. We were up to this point. Here now beta is changing. In the previous question, we had calculated this with beta to be 100. Now we'll calculate it with beta 50. So just everything remains same beta 50 this and from here we can calculate IE simplifying IE is 1.177 milliampere now we have found IE we can find IC easily IE is alpha times IE and alpha is beta over beta plus 1 IE plugging in the value 50 divided by 50 plus 1 into 1.77 so the new current with beta 50 is 1.1 milliampere. So this is the answer. Now we have to find the change, change in IC in percentage. Now the, in the previous IC or the old IC with 100 beta was 1.28. The new IC is 1.15. So percentage change we can find 1.28 minus 1.5 divided by 1.28 multiplied by 100% and this is down that means it is uh, the previous value was 1.8 now it has reduced to 1.15 and if you solve this we will get the answer of 10% and since it is going down so we will write it minus 10% so I hope you have been able to follow this question 
and should be able to solve. Thank you.